Young drivers hear it all the time. Don't text while you drive, but sometimes they need to hear it from someone they can relate to to really understand the dangers of texting while driving. I feel like with me sitting here in a wheelchair being 17 years old, it's like a reality check. Like that could be you tomorrow. When you leave school today, that could be you. Last year at this time, Taylor Cooper was playing softball against Pittsfield High School students. But now she's talking to them from a wheelchair about the consequences of texting while driving. I'm here to say, don't do it. You are pretty much just like me and I could be just like you if I hadn't texted and drove. Last July, Cooper was driving to meet her family at the river when she received a text message from her boyfriend. In that split moment, she looked down at her phone. She lost control of her car and it hit a telephone pole. Cooper was trapped in the car for three hours before she was found. The accident left her paralyzed from the waist down. It's an eye opener because everybody does it. It's just everybody, not everybody's going to get hurt, but eventually it will hurt them. All this, this kind of stuff has scared me to text and drive, which I think is a good thing because then it really, you know what I mean, because then I'm not taking that risk. And for Cooper, having students not even take the risk of texting and driving is exactly what she wants. You know, I had girls coming up to me afterwards I didn't know that just said, I want to give you a hug. Your story really impacted me. And that's what I came here to do today, so I'm glad. Before her accident, Cooper was a competitive softball player. The students I interviewed were really impacted by that. They said the thought of not being able to play sports again was enough to not make them text and drive. Kristen Aguirre, KHQA News.